what's up youtube i'm gonna make this video uh, um short um about a week ago i was working on my downpipe um i was installing this um o2 sensor fuller right here uh due to uh po 425 code which is um the second o2 sensor was reading too much smoke uh going into the the downpipe so while i was installing this thing uh i was trying to put it back I snapped my V-band, as you can see right here. It's right on the top. It snapped right there. So I was like, oh my God. So um, what I did is um, I called the uh, local um, car parts. Um, I called a few of them actually. Tried to get um, a four inch, it's actually 107 millimeters v-band that will fit my car uh they said you know they don't have any i called the second one they don't have any so my best bet was just get it online and just wait a couple of days before i get it uh, that's exactly what i did so i called the uh i found one online and just purchased it there uh, i bought it and i just received it So all I did was I uh, just hooked this thing up, tried to, you know, tighten it up a little bit so it won't snap on me. And I wasn't, you know, pushing the uh, the gas pedal as hard so this thing won't break on me while driving it. Um, today I'm going to be installing it or replacing it. And before I do that, I'm going to do the, uh, um, the turbo uh, seal as well. Um, I'm going to show you exactly um, how it looks like. And before we get to that, let me just undo this and clamp it and get down to work. First thing is first, let's just soak this cap back clamp right here. As you can see, it looks kind of rusty, so I don't want to break it. I'm just going to soak it with WD-40, let it sit a little bit so we can be easier to get it out. I give it about five minutes to soak in. And also, I draw a line right here so we can know exactly when I, you know, um, when I loosen this, push it back so I can get the downpipe off before I uh, work on my uh, V band clamp. As you can see, this aftermarket one does not have any. Um, any holder that goes from here to these stock um, I would say hangers uh, since it's actually connected straight from the turbo all the way down to the cap back so just for the hell of it I draw a line in here so when I you know shake it a little bit move it around I will miss the center where this cap bag grabs the Downpipe. All right, get the downpipe off. I'm just like hanging it right up here so it won't stretch the uh, O2 sensor um, wires. Now I'm gonna take off the, uh, the turbo seal. Wait, there it looks like this. It's kind of hard, hard material. freaking aluminum stuff coming off whatever that is so it goes right in, in this groove right here it sits right against the turbo so we can prevent it from leaking and it looks just like that so this was the damaged D clamp as you can see snapped in half it's all supposed to be one piece just like this as you can see, it's all baked. And this is the uh, turbo to downpipe seal ring. It's baked also. And this is the replacement. As you can see, it's thicker. Right there. Big difference, of course. And this is the new clamp. I think the, you can tell this uh, it's been upgraded 
and its original BMW V band. And even the uh, the washer is thicker versus the uh, the old one. Wow, big difference. They're both uh, 13 millimeters uh, bolts. All right, let's get down to work. Let's put the ring in. It's really hard to film with one hand and work with the other one, but I'm doing my best. All right. Once I put in the ring, uh, you can tell it's sticking out a little bit further versus the other one was like flush with the uh, with the turbo face. Hopefully this thing will seal it real good. I'm just gonna push it in all the way, just make sure this thing's not moving. And put the downpipe back in. And use the V-clamp and call it a day. All right, got the, uh, the V-clamp on, but it's not fully tightened. I wanna make sure that this pipe is is on center so I gotta check the uh, cap back pipe if it slides in and out no problems that means it's it's centered so now we'll go back and uh, tighten my uh, v-clamp bolt which is 13 millimeters while I'm down here I was checking the uh, my waste gate and uh, it wasn't even if when I push it all the way in because right now like when the engine is cold when you change, the engine is not running it's open um, I think BMW is, is not like some other cars when it's the engine is off it's fully closed now it's in open position when I push it all the way in when I push it so this is closed this is open this is closed this is open so when I push it all the way in when I had the pipe off uh, when I push it all the way in um, to the closed position I feel like the you know the wheel inside is not fully against the uh, the waste gate um, exit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust it a little bit by loosen up this second bolt I mean the second one not the one towards the exit the exit of the the rod I'm talking about this one inside here the second one so I'm just going to loosen that up and go about one turn. I go one turn and check my boost. Then if I need to adjust it again, I can, you know, go back and, well, I don't want to uh, blow anything in the engine by, like, miss adjusting it. So I'm just going, like, one turn, one full turn on this bolt right here. I'm oh, sorry, it's not clear. The second bolt. This bolt I gotta go one full turn on this one then tighten this one so we can push the uh, waste gate down a little bit so next time when it closes it's fully closed and it won't uh, it won't be any leaks anywhere I'm gonna do this off camera and I get back to you <laughs> 